Once you go to arduino.cc, select Sign In, and use your Google account or your school email to sign in. Then select the waffle up in the right hand corner and go to web editor. When you get to this screen you can select new sketch and this means you're going to be doing a new code to control a project. You can rename the sketch by clicking on the drop down arrow and rename. And then to get ready for the code, select or highlight and delete all of the code that is already there. Now open a new tab and go to sharpdtc.com, click on students, and scroll down until you come see the option Arduino sketches. We're going to do the heartbeat sketch today or the heartbeat project. So I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of void setup and drag my cursor down so that I've highlighted that entire code and then I will do control C to copy it. Now I go back and select the tab that's my Arduino editor and I put my cursor next to line 1 in the sketch and do control V. Now I have the project code that will control my project. The next thing I have to do is select the board and port. With search board I type Arduino Uno or just Uno and then select Arduino Uno making sure that I have a blue check mark and then I make sure I have a blue check mark next to the port and select OK. Now I can verify and save the code with the check mark. Down here I see the banner that says success. If there's a red banner I may be able to identify that there's a bug that needs to be debugged in my code. This arrow is to upload the code to my UNO and then I can observe if the project is working. After we get the green banner that says success, then we know that the project will be working. If I make any modifications to the code, I need to then upload the code again. Changing the code here will not change the code on the UNO until I select Upload.